in this class of business environment and ethical practices we'll be talking about monetary policy monetary policy is basically the credit control measures adopted by the central bank of a country central government and the reserve the central bank of any country they both share the responsibility of maintaining three good things in the market one is the credit level second the inflation rate and third level of money in the market and all these three things are interrelated also both the policies tend to take a control over all these three things and tend to maintain them in at a healthy rate but the way it is done in monetary and fiscal policy is different the prime objectives of monetary and fiscal policies are bit different but certain things remain common that we need to keep in mind objectives are promotion of saving and investment since the monetary policy controls the rate of interest and inflation within the country it can impact the saving and investment of people a higher interest rate translates to a greater chance of investment and saving thereby maintaining a healthy cash a cash flow within the economy and vice versa so whenever the the bank the reserve bank wants to change or alter the money flow in the market or want wants to alter the trend of saving and investment they can play with the interest rates here we must always remember that general people borrow from commercial banks commercial banks borrow from reserve bank and reserve bank can also borrow back from commercial banks so this relation must always be kept in mind later on in the in this slide only we learn how these borrowings actually drives the entire economy second objectives uh, objective is controlling the import and export by helping industry secure a loan at a reduced rate of interest monetary policy helps export oriented units to substitute imports and increase exports this in turn helps to improve the condition of balance of payments and through uh, policies like exim policy export import policy and initiatives like make in india and all the government any government would try its level best to reduce its dependency on import and would like to make the export strategy more intact the same is being done in india also third managing business cycles or third objective is managing business cycle the two main stages of a business cycle are boom and depression the monetary policy is the greatest tool using which the boom and depression of business cycles can be controlled by managing the credit to control the supply of money like in the recent past we have seen RBI has extended good amount of loans to banking industry because banking industry due to the clearance of NPAs non performing assets was many banks were struggling to uh, to survive and in fact due to some uh, poli policy changes done by the government or the RBI it was a, a very tough time for the banks and then the uh, government decided to extend some loans so the basic idea is with the help of and it's not confined to loans only like with the change of uh, rate of interest government can uh, influence the business cycle it can also influence the business cycle by bringing in new policy wherein the business uh, can extend credit support to the entrepreneurs or it could be another tool wherein the government can when the uh, reserve bank can actually uh, change the slr statutory liquidity ratio or crr cash reserve ratio and its impact we'll discuss further in the next slide then comes regulation of aggregate demand since the monetary policy can control the demand in an economy it can be used by monetary authorities to maintain a balance between demand and supply of goods and services when credit is expanded and the rate of interest is reduced it allows more people to secure loans for the purchase of goods and services this leads to the rise in demand on the other hand when the authorities wish to remove reduce demand they can reduce credit and raise the interest rates generation of employment although taking care of the employment part the main 
ऑब्जेक्टिव इज बेसिकली टेकन केयर बाय दिजिकल पॉलिसी बट अंडली मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी ऑल्सो हैज एन इम्पैक्ट ऑफ क्रिएशन ऑफ जॉब्स और क्रिएशन ऑफ और जनरेशन ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट एज ए मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी कैन रिड्यूस द इंटरेस्ट रेट स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस एस एम ईज कैन इजिली सिक्योर ए लोन फॉर बिजनेस एक्सपेंशन विच कैन अल्टीमेटली लीड टू ग्रेटर एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज then helping with the development of infra the monetary policy again this is also the prime uh, concern of fiscal policy but monetary policy also has an impact here because the monetary policy allows concessional funding for the development of infrastructure within the country and it could be done both for the public sector undertakings and for the private enterprises both then allocating more credit for the priority segments like in india small scale industries agricultural or under developed sections they can get benefit if, if the same are if the same benefits are incorporated in the monetary policy managing and developing the banking sector the entire banking industry is managed by the rbi RBI being the uh, financial watchdog in our country and SEBI also, they play a very vital role in handling the banking industry. And banking is a core sector which actually gives boost to other sectors also. Also, so this all uh, comes into the domain of monetary policy. Instruments are bank rate policy, wherein we take care of bank rate, repo rate. Repo rate is the rate at which commercial banks uh, take. loan from the rbi and reverse repo rate is the rate at which rbi takes loan from the uh, commercial banks open market operations wherein the, the rbi uh, issues securities and bonds in case it wants the money to come back to it from market so if inflation is there at times government uh, the rbi goes for this kind of instrument wherein they can issue securities and bonds which can be bought by the commercial banks or the general public which helps them to check the inflation third is variable reserve requirements liquidity ratios like crr cash reserve ratio or slr can be altered crr is the cash reserve ratio this ratio which is at present 3% this amount of money has to be kept in form of cash by all the commercial banks and slr is the statutory liquidity ratio any bank having x amount of fund out of which 18% of the x amount should be kept in the form of liquid ratio with it it is done uh, to ensure that in case things go bad banks are able to pay their liabilities then comes moral situation wherein out of like it it can approach the bank the reserve bank can approach the commercial banks and request them on moral grounds to adopt such policies which are good for the economy and to leave the main profit motive for a while and then selective credit control wherein with the help of certain policies the rbi can alter the the amount or the nature of credit available in the market here is uh, the rap, reverse repo repo and uh, crr and slr are given for the month of july 2020 here we can see all the ratios or all the percentages are at a very low level because due to covid 19 the government is trying to uh, to the, the rbi is basically trying to bring things back to normal and for that easy loans have been provided and government the rbi has allowed the commercial banks to keep low amount of reserves with it and so that it can lend more and more there are two types of or two approaches of uh, to uh, the monetary policy one is the expansionary wherein it is used to overcome recession or depression which is happening right now although officially no recession was uh, was there but we have seen and not only in india globally we have seen that economies are going through a rough patch 
when there is a fall in consumer and business demand the government eases the credit market conditions purchases government securities so that the money goes back into the market and people have more money to spend uh, purchases government securities lowers the reserve requirements which leads to an upward shift in the ad like all these things we discussed in the last slide ad here is aggregate demand or the vice versa the policy could be restrictive monetary policy restrictive policy is basically when the entire monetary policy is designed to curtail aggregate demand in times of inflationary trends if the market is booming too much people are spending too much of money then such kind of policy has to be uh, maintained that the excess of everything can be checked and the inflation rate can be brought down at a reasonable level so that economic growth doesn't get hampered Thank you.